Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, I think that most of you know that with the most recent foundation launches that happened, think Charlotte Tilbury, NARS, and the Makeup Forever, I have been on a roll and I've been loving the foundations. So when I saw that Hourglass was coming out with their own new foundation, it's called the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, I was like, yes, there's a dog who wants to come in the room. As I was saying, I was like, yes, and I was obsessed. I absolutely needed to have this. I was all over their website. I was all over the Sephora site. I took the Shade Finder quiz on Sephora. I took the Shade Finder quiz on the Hourglass site. And finally, I was like, I'm just going to get in touch with my local Sephora store and see if it is in yet. As luck would have it, they had it in the back room. It could be sold, but they hadn't put it out yet. So I ran to the store and they color matched me. And the closest we could come up with is this shade 4.5, which is light with cool undertones. Uh, we will see what we think of that in a second. But the facts on this are one ounce, $58 and 32 shades. So the shade range is pretty good. However, I'm gonna say right off the bat, when we take a look at this, does this look like light with cool? cool undertones to you? It doesn't to me. As a matter of fact, it looks neutral to a little bit yellow. And that's one of my biggest problems as of late with the foundation releases, except for the Charlotte Tilbury. Most of them tend to lean a little more yellow. I need the pink on my face to kind of balance everything out because of my hyperpigmentation. So unfortunately, the perfect shade does not exist in this line for me, which is a bummer. However, my little trick is I keep a, on hand always the Dior Backstage Body, actually, is that what it's called? Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 2CR, which I think is Two Cool Rose. And I just add a little bit of that to any foundation that just needs to be like pinked up a little bit for me. I know, I'm playing chemist, but this is what I have to do. All right, so like I told you, I've had this for a few days and I have worn it a few different ways. Now, when I tried it on in store, I literally did my entire cheek and then I walked around the mall for like another hour or so looking crazy because the rest of my face did not have foundation, but who cares? I wanted to see how it would wear once I had gotten home and it had warmed up on my skin. And even though I had all my skincare and my sunscreen on, it didn't lay down very nicely. It actually started to like sink into my pores and wasn't being very cute, but I'm not one to give up. So the next day I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because she just, I don't know, there's something special about this Magic Cream. There's a reason why it's called Magic. It just makes my foundation look so much more beautiful, so much more like juicy, but like more like my skin. And I'm gonna say it didn't do the trick. So here we are on day three and I'm using my 100% ride or die. If this doesn't make foundation look good, nothing doesn't. From Embryolisse, this is their LA Cream Concentrate. This is in everyone's kit because it is an infallible moisturizer slash primer. It's just fantastic. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna show you how this foundation looks on me and I'm gonna give you my thoughts because if you're gonna spend $58, you should know ahead of time what you're getting. All right, let's just get this hair back. Now I have found I do prefer applying this with a brush and then going over with my beauty blender just to smooth out any areas. And actually my BK 106 brush is just, it's a flawless brush. All right, so like I said, I already have the Embryo Lease on my face. We're going to go in with the foundation, put a little bit on the brush and just let's do this. Now you can tell right off the bat, it is not the perfect shade match for me. Like I said, if I were to, you know, continue using this, I would mix in my Dior, but we'll see. It's not terrible. I actually think it's more neutral than it is yellow, but there's still a little yellow in here. Now you can see as I'm first applying this, it looks really nice. It is a medium buildable coverage, which is perfect for me. You know I don't do full coverage anymore. It's just not my vibe. All right, I'm just gonna give that a little pat just to make sure it's pressed in and smoothed out. And you can tell from this side to this side that it looks pretty. However, there is a dry down to come. So let me just finish putting this on and we will go from there. Now, because this does dry down so quickly, absolutely do not take it and dot it all over your face and then go from segment to segment. You can't do that. You have to put it on in one place, 
work it in, do what you gotta do, and then go to the next because it just dries down really quickly. All right, so let's see if I have a difference from using the Embryo Lease for my primer from the past applications that I've done. Um, okay, looking up close, I don't feel like it's settling into pores. Do I feel like it has smoothed out anything? Mm, not really. However, it doesn't look blotchy. I do feel it looks a little more foundation-y than I normally prefer, especially this time of year. But I think that you can tell that even though it's called the, was it Ambient Soft Glow, it is drying down to become matte. And that is what I have found from my past usage of this, is that this is a really, I don't wanna say really matte foundation, but I'm not getting the soft glow that I was really hoping to get. I mean, you know how I feel about everything Hourglass, mostly because everything has just this most gorgeous glow to it. Do not get me wrong, I have been blessed with the foundation launches because they have been right for my skin. My skin is normal to a little bit oily in the summertime because that's just how it goes. In the wintertime, it can become a little bit dry, but I'm normal. I don't have heavily oily skin and honestly, I don't really have combination skin. So I'm lucky in that respect. However, with this foundation, I don't feel very lucky because at my age, I don't look great when I use a matte or or like a velvety matte foundation. It just, it makes my skin look older. I need to have like dewy, a juiciness, not slip slidey greasy, but I just need to have something that is like hydrating, reflects light. It's more attractive, it's more youthful looking. It just works better for my skin, my skin tone, you know, the skin damage, all that I have going on. So right now, this is not right for me. Who is this right for as far as I'm concerned? All y'all with combination oily skin. I think you would love this. It is a pretty foundation. I feel like it lasts well throughout the day. It's just not right for me. But listen, there's a ton of you, so many of you who have oily combo skin and you're like, foundation just slides off my face. I think that this might be perfect for you. Now, do you need to use a hydrating primer underneath? That's up to you. You know what your skin does, how it reacts. If you are looking for something that is like moisturizing, not overly like slippy, greasy, I actually apply this with a flat brush. Where is it? I use this here flat foundation brush to apply it because I don't want to like rub my fingers all over my face. And it just gives a nice thin veil of the primer. And I mean, is it working? Yeah, I can wear this. I don't look terrible. Is it exactly how I want it to look? No. So I'm gonna finish off my face using pretty much all cream cosmetics to kind of counteract the matte look that I have going on and we'll see what happens in the end. So stick around. All right, here I am back as promised with a face that's mostly cream products just to balance out any dryness that this foundation could you know, give. Now I will say this is the best the foundation has looked in the three days that I've worn it. And I think it's all because of the Embryo Lease. Where the hell is it? Here it is. Now the layering of like dewy, creamy products really helps like my face kind of come alive, not look flat and matte, gives it like a little bit more youthfulness to it. How do I feel about this foundation? I'm pretty okay with it. Like if I had to have this foundation, I would be fine. I could make it work, but I don't like to have to make things work for my skin type. I like it to just be beautiful effortlessly. Now, like I said, if you have combo oily skin, I think you would love this foundation. It really is pretty. It goes on nicely. It's not patchy. It's not so dry but I just feel like it doesn't give my skin the youthful glow that I really like my foundation to have. I mean, I, I'm perfectly fine to go in public like this. I would go out for an evening like this. I don't have any real problems with it, except it's not the finish that I prefer for my skin tone, for my age, for my skin type. It's just not perfect for me, but I have a feeling it would be perfect for many of you. 
Now at $58, is this how I want to spend my money? I don't know. Like I said, I still feel like the shade is just off a little bit. I think I need it to be a little pinker, but I'm being so nitpicky. I mean, it is a pretty foundation. I mean, my makeup came together nicely. I like how it looks. I'm just not like wowed by it. And honestly, that's what I want from Hourglass. Because it's a luxury brand, because I have so many of their products that I do love, I expect it to be wowed. And I'm not. It's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty. It's just not wow for me, my skin. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I mean, do you really like this? Do you think my skin looks good? Or are you like, you've got better foundations? All right, so Hourglass's Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Tell me, what do you think? I'm kind of back and forth on this because I really do feel like the Embryolise made a huge difference for my past two applications. I like finding the right combination of primer and foundation. I'm huge for that because I really think that the two can make a whole different like effect on your face, obviously, from what I got going on today. But is this the right foundation for me, my skin type, tone, texture? We'll see. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jennifer. I am obviously into all things hair, skin, and makeup. And I think you might be too, since you're still here. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, because you know you're gonna come back for more. And all of you, make sure you ring that bell for notifications, because this summer, your girl is erratic. All right, friends, well, that is it for my Ambient Soft Glow Foundation review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for being with me, and I'll see you real soon. I don't know. I mean, today it looks pretty good, but I don't know.